Prophet Muhammad وسلم, because he was the last of the prophets of Allah to come. He gave descriptions of Dajjal which were so precise, it is as if we could see him before us. Because there was none to come after him. So he had to give us, leave us with a clarity which none of the prophets before were required to do. Or if they did, their messages became so garbled after their times that we can't find this kind of clarity in any of the existing scriptures. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, used to refer to him as Al-A'war, one who's blind in one eye. And he described in more detail that his right eye will be like a floating grape, shaking in his head, not in a fixed position. That will be his blind eye. His left eye will also be defective. It will have a thick film, opaque, like that of a fingernail. And it will be green in color like green glass and it will be bulging this is how the Prophet ﷺ described the left eye the eye which could see of the job he further went on to describe his complexion saying that he would be ruddy white like the people of the north the UK Finland very white so much so that their skin has a red tinge to it and his forehead will be prominent, protruding, and his neck wide. He will be short and stout, be young and very powerfully built. And his back will be slightly hunched. And when he walks, his feet will be set apart, not walking feet together, unusually far apart. And his hair will be curly, locks, which look from a distance almost like snakes coiled on each other in his head, big locks. He will also be sterile, he will not have any children. According to the Prophet ﷺ, he most resembles a particular individual by the name of Abdul Uzza ibn Qatan from the Mustalaq clan of the Khuza'a tribe who had died in pre-Islamic times. And this statement of the Prophet ﷺ is clear proof that the Jal is a man, not a symbol for Western civilization or the television, as some people have claimed. He is a man. Prophet Muhammad went on to say that disbelief will be written between his two eyes, which will be recognizable by both literate and illiterate believers. The letter Kafir will be written there. The fact that only Muslims and the believers will be able to recognize it. This doesn't mean that it is symbolic. It just means that Allah will have it in such a way that the believers will recognize it and others won't.